Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. And now that we have this this pepper here, let's throw it. And go to the boss. Hot wings. I could go for some hot wings right now. Saving. So let's go do it. So here we go, we have to stay on the platforms to be safe from the lava, but we also need to grab these if we can to throw them at you and get some beads, but also so we can actually do some damage. We need to get as many beads as possible. The platforms will move around as well, so we need to also be careful of that. And then, we also need to be careful when he comes out of the lava. I probably should have run straight towards him, so. Uh, I don't want to be here. Oh, but I do want to be careful. I want to be very careful, and I want to be careful when it, he brights up one part of the screen, because there's th three levels basically, the top, bottom, and middle, and I want to be where he's not when he's doing that dash attack. Okay, very careful. Ow. I said careful. I said careful. My beads. Again, since this is a boss, we also need to get the patch. Oh, don't push me up into him, please, thank you. We need to get the patch, so we need to do a lot of good stuff, basically. Now, if I can be very careful, let's do that, and let's do that. Let's get all the beads that I possibly can. Need to be careful where he's jumping out. Should be on the other side. Not quite yet, though. Nope, there we go. Of course, it's when I was there trying to get my beads. My beads, not my beads. My invincibility frame saved me. Beads, my beads. My beads! No, my beads! Oh, my beads! Huh? Also, I have the patch, apparently. Because I have enough for it. I don't know how I dodged that. Okay, we just need to get one more hit on him. Oh my goodness, he's doing that attack again. Just need to dodge everything. My beads! My beads! My beads! Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Don't push me up into him. Don't push me up into him nearly. Okay, he's over there. Just need... Probably want to stay on the ground. So I can roll... So I can roll that up. Throw that at him. And let's take him out so we can get all the beads that are on the ground at the moment. Very nice. Got three stars and the patch. And also the music. Hourglass. Hourglass patch. We did it! We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland. The Waddledees were very busy inside Castle DDD. Faster! Keep going! No lounging around! barked King DDD. Just then, the king noticed that one of his Waddledees looked a little. <laughs> Strange. That Waddle Dee was actually one of Yin Yarn's creations. Yeah! <laughs> Soon Dreamland will be wrapped around my knitting needles, Yin Yarn cackled. What sort of plan was he stringing together? The puns are real. Also, we have more story now. 
What I really like though, what I was about to say, is I like when the narrator is saying that the magic yarn shimmered and spiraled into the sight into the sky. He says that every time we beat a boss, so I feel like it be, could be turned into one of the best jokes of all time though. Uh, anyway, let's throw this patch. And let's go into Temper Temple. Let's go. A lot of lava and fire. It's probably fine. But also, fire trucks again. Fire! Let's go. Actually, where have I heard fire before said like that? I hammer swing fire th thunder. Hmm. Somebody's ripping off somebody. I don't know who. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. It's 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 funny. It's it's fine. Anyway, let's grab the two stars there. And we need to be careful not to drop the the beads into the lava because with them we can't get them. We also have this moving platform, which is basically the whole level is just moving platforms. So let's take you out. You can't do anything because I'm moving towards you automatically. So. All good. Let's take out this fire. Once again, we have one of these enemies that we need to take out with water. Let's try and, let's try and get the, most of the beads out of the air wave so we can get them. He also drops the pyramid. Some say that this decorative object has healing powers. Interesting. Let's grab those beads before they disappear. We've already got silver, so we're doing pretty well. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, my beads! Please, my beads. Want that. Get rid of here. We need to take out these fire monsters if we can, because some of the times they drop good stuff. Oh, take you out, 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 please. There we go. I'm dropping a lot of beads into the lava, but that's fine. I'm almost at gold, so... And that's all I really need. Take out the head and it all takes comes down. Very nice. Oh, you're over there. Take it out, take it out, take it out, please, thank you. Also, apparently he drops a camel pillow. This camel pillow has two humps. One for you and one for a friend. Get that so we can get the star. We're doing really well. We already have two out of three items and we have already got gold, so. Doing really well for ourselves. Just need a little bit more. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's stuff out of the lava that we need to be careful of. We also have these two platforms now, so we need to pick which one we want. Because they're going to split off. I think I want the orange one. Yeah, because it goes up. Hit that. That was kind of a mistake, but that's okay. Also, fire, 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 fire. Also, that guy. Take you out. Three stars there, but also this switch down here. That way it gives us a star and some more beads. Okay, more beads, more beads. Here. I'm not sure if I want to be up or down right now, but I can probably get all those anyway. If I play my cards right. Kind of. Kind of, kind of. I mean, I've already got gold, so I don't need more. But I want more anyway, so get all that. Okay, last area, I think. Just need to go up this way now. And again, once again, we have split platforms. Oh, I should have taken the other side. That's I, oh, that's okay. If I play my cards right again, since I knocked them onto the platform, they won't miss it. I probably should go this way? I don't know. Very nice. Very nice. Hopefully I didn't miss anything on the other side, although I think just up here is probably the music that I need to get. So I need to be careful. Get rid of you? Yeah, probably. Taking out this last thing here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Also, very, very interesting. I need the thing. I, I think I need that. Oh, I got him. Somehow, I got the music. Theme from Quilty Square. That's not what I was expecting, considering it's usually the song from the level you're in, and not just the overworld, like, town music. But I mean, I guess it has to be somewhere. 
And that's the end of the level. Did pretty well. Got a higher combo. But we can get more probably. I missed the five star. I was probably on the other side of that last bit at the end. Thank you. Also, the stuff in the background there is pretty cool. Like, with the, there was a star early on the wall just before the the end of the fire truck thing. And, like, the sun and moon there, it's... Oh, so much detail. They probably just don't notice, but anyway. Got the candle patch. Not a flower patch? I think we, I think we already had something like that. No, it was a butterfly patch. No, no flower patch. Anyway, let's throw that. Dusk Dunes, which I think I remember having pretty good music, but it might just be because of what you do in it, quite possibly. Let's go in. Oh yeah, let's go. Music time. Got to go car racing again, so let's go. And let's go for first place. We collected everything we can along the way. He has a lot of other races, but we have to... We'll probably take them out as, long, as, as we go along the way. We also have these platforms here that we can break, or just, um, crash into, I guess. Or we'll go on top of, you know, all the things. Let's go. Hit you, please, thank you. Getting extra beats for landing on top of them. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't know where the rewards are, there's one. Magic carpet. This carpet has the power to fly, but it's much safer on the floor. That's fair, but it can be used as a platform as well. We've already passed a few races already, so that's pretty good. Three star. Also, there's those platforms on the ground that you can kind of see, kind of. They're a little bit difficult to see though. Uh, but they allow us to do, get to other places and I missed the hourglass there because I didn't do it correctly. That's fine. There'll be more champs, probably. Okay, jump up here for the five star. Gonna get you before I hit you with my by driving into you. Also, we could go down there using the dashes to get the star, but we need to go up for the Dusk Dunes theme. Okay, good. Get through all that. There's probably a star up there. Yep. Cool. Let's go. Grab that, and we're done. I think we won. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, we won. Cool. We just get rid of you and get rid of my reward. Very nice. The music here is really good, so... Now, let's see if I can get five stars. And then we need to go back in for the thing I missed. That was close. Very nice, very nice, and then I missed one, it's fine. Have to go up the the bouncer bits, with the, the spring bounce jump, yeah, no, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's go back in. Okay, here we go, 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 I, I believe, I believe. Well, I have to start again. No, go back. Ah, go back. Oh, I see. You have to use the, the dash to get up here. Hourglass. This hourglass uses Stardust to tell you when the stars are out. That seems... That, that's exactly how... That's, that's exactly... <laughs> that's exactly how that works, right? That, 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 that's how that works. 
Oh my goodness. How? How? They said it couldn't be done, but I did it anyway. Okay, so there we go. Got it on the third or fourth try, it's fine. I, I didn't struggle at all, I just had to get the, the dash, and I was struggling to get the dash because I can't go up the upper path for some reason. But anyway, that's that level done. And that is Hotland done already. Can't believe it flew by so fast. And now, we get to go to Treat Land. I also believe we can also press... Hang on. Press A to actually look at the whole world from a a, 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 a zoomed out view, so pressing A is helpful. Anyway, let's go to Toy Tracks. This has a... I, I like this world theme. I mean, it can be a little bit strange at times, but I think it's it, it's pretty cool in the way that it all fits together. Uh, but anyway, let's just take you out, I guess. We can also pull these cars around, which is cool. Okay, go there. Grab these beads. We also have these waldies that are throwing these blocks around that we can stand on top of to get around. Or we could take them out and then they can't do anything, but I feel it's probably better to just let them do their thing. So we can get to some secrets. Like going up here, I guess. Get some beads. Very nice. Get up there. Nope, I messed up. It's fine. I probably should have been further down. That's fine. Ah, it's fine. I want to go up. Up we go. Okay, there we go. Didn't mess it up that time. And we can go up all the way up here to get a reward. Stuffed bear. This guard bear lost his post when he was caught napping on the job. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, there's also this guy here that has a sword that we can take off of him and throw back at him. The soldier. I actually like the soldier enemies. The way that they, like, they're the way that they're themed. But there's there's more than one of them as well. So. Move this duck that makes squeaking sounds when we move it. And now we have these these platforms that can crush us, but also can take us around. Can I take that from you? Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, I probably want to take that. Don't want to get crushed though. Let's go up here and get this cookie patch thing. Grab that. Okay. Also, th their noses are beads. Take that. Drop down, take that. I'm gonna get crushed. Nope, there goes my beads. No, my beads. Oh my goodness, I lost all the beads. I'm sad. They're disappearing and sadness. Ow, uh, you take that. I'm mad now. This is just a, a real shame. Uh, how am I supposed to get down? Oh, I'm probably supposed to just go through the door and then walk around, you know, that thing that I probably should have done in the first place before when I lost my beads. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I played this game once a long time ago. Okay, turn around so I can get rid of you. I need to follow this thing up. All the way up here. So it can remove... This guy's hat. Just like that. Tin robot. This tin robot is very expensive. Uh, vintage item sought by collectors. Cool. Can I sell it for beads? Probably not. Oh, I need to be careful. Also need to be careful here because there's this, this robot that's going to be moving around so we can use them as platform. M m use it as a platform. Uh, but also it can crush us, so. Just like everything else, really. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Duck time. Let's just pull it over to the slope. And then get on. Oh, come on, really? A little bit further. Probably. Okay, here we go. Whee! Then we can also grab these beads as well. Just like that. Cool. Gonna get rid of here. And let's go in here. Down to the next area. Let's not get crushed. Need to ride these robots to where we're going to next. We can pretty much just stay on them the whole time, so... 
And there will be beads along the way to collect as well, though. Which I want to grab. I don't know where they all are, but they are there, so... Although I probably want to be midway down as well, because there are some beads down here. Don't crush me, don't crush me, don't crush me, don't crush me, don't crush me. Don't crush me, just my dreams. Hoop! I'm fine. Cool. Oh my goodness, don't crush me. <laughs> I want those beads. Just a few. Don't crush me. Oh my goodness, that would have crushed me. I can take those there. Oh, there's the five star. Let me grab that so I can break that open and get the five star. Thank you. Ah, uh, please. Thank you. And I think that's the end of that section, so let's go up this way. Don't think there's anything else here, so let's move on. Oh, calling for guards. It's fine. Let me take you out. And then, ah. And then we t let me take you out. And this teddy bear's crying for some reason. Let's go down here. Pull that down. We can see that his foot is cut open or something. But, you know, we let's stitch that up. And we get a lollipop. Well, he gets a lollipop, but we're going to take it, so I'm sorry. Sorry, little bear, but it's mine now. And now we get to transform into a new transformation. A train, which means we have to also point at the screen now. And press the whole, whole, hang on, B button to switch direction and A button while drawing to make tracks. You can see that the cursor's getting smaller as we do that, though. And that's because we only have a limited amount of track to place. In two-player, you take turns placing track, so you have to be careful with that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We need to be going all around the place as best we can. Also, I believe if we place the track, or if it falls off, the track gets replaced and disappears and all that. Go down, please. That's fine. Just need to grab that, and then we can go up this way. This is a boost up here, which allows us to go through that. I'm going to make that better, please. Oh, please. That's better. Go through the wall. Get the thing. Get the thing, please. Go back. I want the bead. The whole reason for going that way was to get the bead. Okay, good. Oh, hang on. Which way do I want to go? Up that way. Because there's the, the music. Cool. We can also get this extra cart here. Just like that. And then we have that following us. If we fall off of something, though, it won't follow us, so we need to be careful with it. I don't think I want those beads. Uh, nah, maybe I do. It's a long way to go, though, so that's the other problem. Let's get this cart here. And let's get that cart there. Just like that. And I feel like I should probably get some more beads, but that's fine. We're at the end anyway. But we need to take these... Oh no. I Oh, I perfect. If we get to the end with these extra carts, they all turn into a star each, so... But there we go. Let's get this. Oh, I missed the three stars somewhere. That's fine. Please... Nope. <sighs> it's fine, I don't need the three star anyway. So there we go. Very nice. This world's quite relaxed. There we go. And we got the hammer patch. So, let's take this to where we need it. And let's throw it. So that's how mushrooms grow. So who, who's going into my yard and just hammering at my lawn? Anyway, let's go into Mushroom Run. This is a pretty cool level. Also, the music is very nice. Very chill. Also, I think if we... Float down to these mushrooms. We don't bounce off of them immediately. But the main main thing of thing of the level is bouncing off the mushrooms. And if we ground pound on them, we actually go higher. So all of the things. Get over here. Oh, I needed you though. 
That's why the, 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 the platform there is sloped, but that's fine. Let me go get you instead, since you're right there. Ba ba da ba 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 da da ba. Sometimes I just sing the Kirby Kirby's Epic Yarn music because I I I know it so well for some reason, even though I haven't played this game nearly as much as I should probably. The brown mushrooms make us bounce a lot higher than the red mushrooms, so we can use those to get stuff from secret places basically, or we'll progress the level at very good speeds. I guess I don't know. Grab all these beads along the way. Also need to be careful of that guy because he will electrocute himself to shock you, and he also throws fluff that will stun you. So you need to break out of that by mashing buttons, basically. Ah! Stunned. I've been stunned. Okay, let me get rid of you. Also, we can go into some of the walls, so we need to be paying a lot of attention. Ah, uh, you can kind of see that there's the, the... the stitching along the edges of the platforms, usually. Uh, but it it's difficult to see on where, the, where where it is and where it isn't with secrets, I guess. But anyway, uh, let me just throw that away. Get another cookie thing. Yeah, let's go over this way because we could see the secret down there. But if we ground pound here, it's going to be a lot more fun than just floating down onto the mushroom so we can just walk down. Mushroom bed. This bed is made of springy mushrooms that make for bouncy naps. Very nice. I mean, why would you... Hang on, why would you want the bed to be bouncy like that? You would never sleep ever again. Uh, anyway, we've got these swinging mushrooms here. Which allow us to get around. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you like that. Grab some of these more beads. This reminds me of Mario 64. Probably a sad thing to compare this to, but anyway. Oh, I probably want that before moving on, so let's get rid of you. can also see some stuff in the wall there. I think that's probably where we're going to to continue. Oh, get up there. No. Why did you not get up there? Hee! Hee! There we go. Bounce off of that. Okay. Grab those, and let's go over to the left here to see what we can get. Treasure. Good. Mushroom lamp. This no novelty light looks like a big mushroom. Maybe it'll grow on its own. Maybe it will. Or maybe you should use a hammer. That that's how mushrooms grow. I know because of <laughs> Kirby's epic yarn. Anyway, let's go review. Missing all the beads, but that's okay. Don't need to be too careful with all the beads. Ah, uh, but these sloped mushrooms here will allow us to either bounce normally, or if we ground pound on them, throws us around the place. So. Don't eat me. Don't you dare. I don't think we can roll them up, so we need to actually use something else to take them out. Like that. Very nice. I love the... I love the <laughs> little rolling yarn. Just going all over the place. Like absolute madness. Uh, but anyway, let's go up here. Get some more beads. And go up here. Ground pound for a whole bunch of beads. I don't know where I want to go. I probably want to just check out all the places I can possibly go. Bounce off of this. There's some beads here that we can swing to get. We also need to check the walls because they usually have stuff attached to them. Uh, I need a thing, which I can get from up there. If I can, please. No, come back. No, come back. No, come back. No, come back. No, uh, it, uh. It. Did he despawn? He probably despawned. He didn't respawn though. Let me go up a little bit more so I can go back down. Please? Nope. Okay. Uh, he's still there. How? I would have thought he'd despawn by now. But anyway, let's take him with us. Hopefully we can make it back up to where we need to be. Oh wow, we can apparently. Go through that. Since, he's, since he rolls, he can break multiple things. But there's the music. Now let's check out some more places on here since there's so much to look at, apparently. Please land on the platform. Please land on a platform. Okay, good. Some beads all over the place. Guess we can grab as many of those as we can. I think we already checked that side in that specific spot. So let's ground pound on this mushroom here to fling ourselves over here. 
get the five star, very well hidden. Somewhat, I mean, but I, I don't know. Uh, let's go up here. Make our way up to the top. But also go up into here because there's some beads so we can get. I believe this mushroom here is supposed to fling you up there, so yeah. Makes it just a little bit easier. Uh, and also, if we ground pound here, we can get a star. Just in the ceiling randomly. But I think that's everything in the level, so let's go ahead and end it. Gold three stars, a decent streak, and all the treasures. Very nice. We have also got 45,000 beads right now. And the cake patch, so. But I think we're going to leave the cake patch for now. And let's go back to Quilty Square. Because we can also press minus in any world to actually swap between the worlds that we have available to us, so. It's quite useful. Or we can just go all the way back in the normal way of just walking to the side of the screen. Uh, but let me check the upper flats here because we need to uh as we go through the game check if we can fill them up so and i think we can so let's do this one please thank you okay let's place in the rainbow and let's place in the camel seat we can also use them multiple times so it doesn't matter if we use them in the any of the extra rooms we still have them what an amazing look you have created for this room, Lord Kirby. Wow, this room is really just wonderful. Is anyone currently living here? My name's Beedrix, and I will be your new tenant here. Pleased to meet you. The moustache just bouncing all over the place. <laughs> amazing. But anyway, we have another minigame here. Beedrix Run. Beedrix's Run. Flower Fields. Collect 600 beads in a minute and a half. Let's go. So we basically have to be quick to get as many beads as possible before the time runs out. So let's see how we go. I think it's the same amount of beads as they are usually. Oh, hello. Have to do it in the the section with the the UFO. Well, so that means I just wasted a little bit of time waiting for the transformation, but that's okay. There's plenty of time, so. It's designed for this, specifically, so. Uh, have to go down. Probably should have, have used that right there, because I could have used, used it down here. But also, there's nothing here, so. Grab that, please. Oh, it's different. Hey! Also, these enemies, but in beads. That's cool. That's actually really cool. I don't care about that one bead. I'm gonna leave it. <gasps> Ooh, that's really cool. It's a, a giant UFO in beads with Waddle Dee inside. That's really cool. But there we go, we got 600 beads. That wasn't too bad, but it probably gets a lot harder. There's more stages as we get further into the game as well, of course. Because as we go through the game, we get more worlds, but anyway. Thanks a lot, that was really fun. I found this while we were out there. You go ahead and take this, Kirby. We get another pattern. Some more fa- fa uh, we get the happy flower fabric. I really hope we get a chance to, uh, go bead collecting again sometime soon. We will, but not right now. Because I think for now, that is probably it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.